Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about clocked SR latch. So previously we have come across SR latch, SR latch, JK latch, D latch. So they were completely only latch, nothing but a memory storage element consisting of two NOR gates or two NAND gates. They don't have any clock signal as input. Now we are going to provide a clock signal as the input for this SR latch. That means we are having a latch. This is the latch. Latch is nothing but a memory storage element. One bit memory storage element. One bit memory storage element. That means it may store either 0 or 1. Now we are adding some logic circuit in front of this latch. So this is a user defined logic circuit. So this logic circuit may be uh, operated with respect to OR gates, AND gates or it may be with any type of gate. So this logic gate is applied with original inputs, original inputs like yes or along with a clock input, along with a clock input. And the output of this one is connected to this latch. The output of this logic circuit is connected to the memory element latch. Then the memory element will give you the outputs Q and Q bar. This is the actual scenario that goes inside the clocked SR latch or clocked JK latch or any type of uh, clock latches. Okay, so we have a logic circuit where we are applying the input signals S, R and clock. The output of this logic circuit, here also we have two gates. The output of first gate is connected to the input of the first gate in the latch. And again the output of the second gate is connected as the input of the second latch. Okay. Now, the clocked SR latch can be created by using NAND or it may be created by using NOR. Because SR latch as, designed, as it is designed with respect to two gates, the same uh, scenario is uh, being continued here also. So there are there are two types of two types of clock SR latches. There are two types of clock SR latches. The first one was NAND based NAND based clocked SR latch, clocked SR latch and the second one is NOR based clocked SR latch. Okay, so the first one is NAND based SR latch and the second one is NOR based clocked SR latch. So here the difference between the first one and second one is the memory element latch is made up of NAND in the first one and the memory element SR latch is made up of NOR in the second case. Okay, so now let us look into the NOR based latch, NOR based SR, NOR based clock latch, SR clock latch. In, a, in other terms, we can also say it is nothing but simply a flip-flop. Okay, so there is no confusion. Flip-flop is uh, slightly different compared to latch. Both are operation-wise, both are same. Both are used for the storage of uh, one-bit memory element, one-bit uh, storage element. But here, the difference is latch is operated with some enable pin like on-off condition. But flip-flop is uh, having a clock input as the input clock input where it continuously dynamically changes the on off conditions okay so whenever you see a clock for the um, digital logic circuit like sr or d or anything then you can simply name it as a flip flop okay so the entire setup we can call it as a flip flop flip flop internally consisting of a logic element followed by a memory element memory element is nothing but a latch hope you understand Okay, flip-flop is nothing but flip-flop is equal to logic control signal, control input. Uh, flip-flop is nothing but control block or control gate plus latch. Control gate or control block plus latch. 
so this is the controlling section this is the controlling section and this is nothing but latch already we know and we have studied about this latch in the previous videos where it is a nor based sr latch nor based sr latch and the first one is the control section where the clock input is applied along with the two inputs s and r okay so if you observe here two and gates are used in front of the latch the first and gate is having the input s along with the clock input and the second and gate is having the input r along with the clock input so the outputs of these two are again connected to the sr latch so this operation is common what we have studied like in the previous nor latch so if you observe the waveforms output waveforms if you observe the output waveforms of this nor based sr latch nor based sr latch see whenever whenever clock is in non state then depending upon the input conditions output is decided okay see clock is having a raising edge and it is having it is having a high signal here so during this period as s is 1 and r is equal to 0 output is 1 see the difference between the latch and flip flop is clearly visible here as we are naming this as a latch as we are naming it as a latch here the output is changing whenever there is a change in the input conditions okay one thing is clock should be high listen carefully very very important clock should be high and depending upon the s and r states output is varied okay clock should be high depending upon the s and r states output is varied see if it is a flip flop or if it is a edge triggered flip flop if it is a edge this is called level triggered okay whatever the diagram shows this is for level triggered level triggered that means whenever the clock is one from here to here during this period all the changes uh, at any point if any change occurs at the input the output will respond the flip flop will respond for the input changes during this level but if it is a if it is an edge triggered flip flop for edge triggered flip flop only if uh, during raising edge if the input is having the change then only the output is changed otherwise again it wait it has to wait for the change in the second raising edge Hope you understand. Suppose, as it is a level triggered, as it is a level triggered. See, during this level, during when the clock is in high level, at that time, S is one and R equal to zero. So we know very well when S is equal to one, output is set. So Q is one. Q is one. And again, again, see, during level, during high period, during high period. So S is equal to zero, R equal to one. So reset. So output is equal to zero. Again during this period, S R is equal to one and S is equal to zero. So output again resets to zero. Output again resets to zero. Okay. So as the level is considered here during the rising level, during the rising level, the output is keep on changing. But if it is an edge triggered flip flop. only whenever the edges either raising edge or falling edge if it is a raising edge so whenever the raising edge occurs at that particular time if any change occurs in the inputs s and r then only output will respond suppose if it is the case then clock is having a raising edge at this point but at this point s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 then output is 0 until you have a next raising edge until you have next raising edge then the output will be 0 okay so outputs are different for level triggered and raising edge triggers okay and coming to the nand based second one nand based clocked nand based clocked sr latch 
So NAND based clock SR latch. Again in the NAND based clock SR latch, there are two types of NAND, NAND based we can define. One is active low input, one is for the active high input. Active low input, that means, that means we know yes, R and output, next state. Qn plus 1. So yes is equal to 0, R equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If it is active low input, then it is, it is previous state 0 and this is the indeterminate state indeterminate state and this is s equal to 0 means it is now set r equal to 0 means it is now reset this is for active low suppose if it is for active high the same state s and r will be like this next state nothing but q n plus 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 same 0 0 means previous state 0 1 means set equal to 0 r equal to 1 reset and it is one set and one one means one one means indeterminate state okay so act to high act to low there are two types of designs we can made one is by using r gates another one is by using nand gates as it is if you observe the first one the first latch the second part shows the latch. Already I, I told you in the previous section. So, whatever the second block comes, that is nothing but latch. Here also the second block is nothing but latch. First block is the control block. The control block here is, is made up of NOR gates. Uh, sorry, made up of R gates in the active low input and made up of NAND gates in the active high input. So rest of that, entire operation is common. Entire operation is common. Okay. This is what uh, SR flip flop and uh, nothing but SR latch level triggered. It is nothing but level triggered. We can call it as SR latch, nothing but level triggered. Okay, thank you.